guys! Okay, so today I actually wanted to vlog because I have something super exciting going on. Um, here in Utah, oh gosh lighting, um, they do this thing called Stadium of Fire for the 4th of July and they invite um, some big wigs to come and perform and um, uh, my dance team actually got asked to perform. It was like the coolest thing ever. Um, and um, I I um, had a little bit of surgery, so I'm not allowed to be doing a whole bunch of dancing, so I don't get to do the dancing side of it, um, but my uncle still wanted me to be in the show, and so I'm still going to be there, and I'm going to go help and practice. So today's the first day that I get to come and practice, um, and today's the first day I really get to see them dance. I'm super excited, and I'm going to take you all along with me. Hey guys, so I decided to come out here because everyone is currently inside practicing. Um, of course, I don't get to do the dance because I'm on medical leave, if you want to call it that. Um, so I'm kind of just currently reading, and it is currently really freakishly hot, and so being inside is like, huh. Um, it's, it's super funny because they're inside, and they're dancing to like this really fast beat because that's what everyone else has to do. Um, but I just found out that what I'm going to be doing is that... I'm going to learn how to play fake play an instrument. <laughs> um, my uncle, he's gonna tell me how to look like I know how to play banjo. And then if I can't grasp that, then I'm apparently going to learn how to fake play the guitar, which, you know, if I, if I try hard enough, I can play the guitar. Um, but I just think it's super funny. that So that's how I'm gonna be in the show. I'm gonna be in the band in the background pretending like I know what I'm doing because they're not going to like plug in or mic any of the instruments. They just really want more stuff on stage that gives the country look or something. So yeah, so I'm just out here reading and apparently it's supposed to be really hot on the 4th of July. later in the, in the day as you can obviously tell um, and I'm practicing my fake banjo rocking skills I have a nice little <laughs> banjo um, it's my uncle's that he's letting me play um, I I feel weird and then cool all at the same time it's the weirdest thing So no matter what you hear or what, it's not going to sound like that on stage because they're not going to mic up our instruments and so I just kind of get to pretend like I totally am playing and no one should know because I do not know that many people who actually can play the banjo or are learning. Yeah, so it's late and I have like a whole bunch of stuff to do. And I have to have like a 45 minute drive in the morning and I have to be there at like 8.30. Cool. Yeah. But I don't care. I get to be in the show. I get to see Carrie Underwood. So I'm just not going to complain and I'm just going to be a good girl like, you know, <laughs> good girl. <laughs> So, it's a bit later in the day, just got done with practice, um, and me and my mom have just got done shopping for an outfit because I kind of found out that I was going to be in the show like yesterday. So I don't exactly have an outfit, so we went shopping to go um, get an outfit for that. I'd show you all it because it's fantastic. But yeah, super excited. 
excited and I'm freaking really tired. So I'm going to go take a nap. And, and then in like an hour, I have to curl my hair and do my makeup and, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. Guys, here's my outfit. I'm not sure if you can quite see. Um, I have boots on. Nice big boots with I got some leggings that are a bit quite a bit shorter. Just so of course you don't see my beh behind. Then I got a nice brown belt. If you can see that, there we go. The lace top, then I have the blue necklace, and we finally cut that vest. If you can see it. Ugh. And then I think I'm gonna try to put a hat on. If you know me, you know that I freakishly love hats, and this is my my newest edition, and I think it works really well with the outfit. And the, oh, nice big blemish right there, and don't pay attention to that. Um, yeah, yeah, my room is pretty not messy. It's okay. Smile, everyone. Pretend like you're having fun and it's not raining. get up on well except for the boots and all boots take a lot to do um, the boys just had their little running race um, my uncle has now beat Robert who is have you know six five um, about six times now in a running race all through practice yeah can't seem to to beat him so we're about to start in like 15 minutes we're gonna go over there and and do everything that we're doing, and that's gonna be fun. People are gonna be staring at me vlogging. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're gonna go over there and we're gonna do that. We're gonna have fun. Tonight's a practice run. It was raining. Now it's beautifully sunny, if you can, if you can tell. It's now sunny, which is great because it was pouring rain when we just left. Um, so yeah. <laughs> going up on the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July! Um, yesterday, I was so tired, and I, I was so tired, and so I went to bed late, um, after reading because I was restless, and then I couldn't fall asleep. Uh, it's like one of those things where you keep, like, replaying the dream. Oh, it's so stupid. Um, so back, I'm here back in Provo again for our last normal practice, um, tonight. Is the stadium of fire? Um, on my way driving up here to Provo, um, if you know, Provo has one of the largest um, town parades in like the, all of the U.S. So I'm driving around, and all of a sudden, there's like seven hot air balloons above Provo. Seven, at least, and they're all different colors, and they're just you know having a good time, floating around, you know, stuff. Um, yeah, that was funny. I was expecting to be here, like, way later than I am. I think the parade starts later, because I'm here 20 minutes early now. Cool. 
Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to read my book. I'm going to walk inside and probably put some, whatever that's called, sunblock on. Because, you know, it's going to be like 100 degrees today. I feel like I'm a really bad vlogger. I really filmed absolutely none of that practice today. Although, it wasn't much different. Oh, gosh, shut up. Um, than anything else you've seen already. Um, for, like, the whole first <laughs> run through, um, I was the only band member there. And there's six of us. So I just kind of stood on the wagon by myself and pretend to rock out. That was, that was kind of fun. Um, yeah. Um, yes, today the stage is a lot sturdier, which is good, because yesterday a lot of the cloggers that came up to me afterwards and were like, did you see the stage after the big run through? I was like, no. Um, lo and behold, when they did the run through and they quickly set up the stage, it was not secured down as it should have been. And so, um, it was basically like the middle was super steady, but the outsides were going up and down. And, like, you were bouncing, bouncing. And I have sugar on my face. That's cool. Um, I have sugar on my face because, so today was one of the dancers, um, John's birthday. I don't know how old he was, uh, how old he's tuning. Um, but my uncle and my aunt, they made him, like, a fruit pizza. Which, if you don't know what fruit pizza is, it's basically a sugar cookie crust with, like, the frosting is a mixture of like powdered sugar, yogurt, and cream cheese, and then you put fruit on it, and it's fantastic. And then we had like four boxes of double stuffed Oreos. It was great. Um, today, I'm surprised, it's supposed to be like 100 degrees, and the whole time we were out there, it was easily only 80, which is nuts, because yesterday morning, even though it was overcast, it was at least 90, which was... 90, 95 in the morning for the morning practice. That was kind of nuts. But yeah, tonight's the show, and we're all worn out, so we all went home, and I'm going to go, and I'm going to take a nap, and then I'm going to read my book. And then I think tonight, because getting out of the stadium is crazy afterwards, we're probably going to park far away, and I'll probably go with my parents, because I don't have to be early. And then I'll just go in, and I'll go to where I have to be, and then they'll go sit down, and then I'll perform, and then I get to watch Carrie Underwood. So, you know... Everything will be okay. Hello? Okay, so I... Last time we had, like, the dress rehearsal, so last night... Let's see if you can see my makeup. Oh, not bad. Um, I didn't like what I did with my makeup. I had, like, just one... Just a few little blue lines. And that... And I was like... Ugh. Ugh. And so I was like, okay, so I'm just gonna go for a dark smoky eye. So this is what I came out with. I'm not sure how much I love it. But I like it a lot better. Ooh, lighting's best here. Perfect. Um, it's definitely a lot better than yesterday. Um, I'm not sure how much I like it. I'm, s I'm in the process of waiting for my curling iron to heat up. Um, I love the lips, though. This is, like, my new favorite lipstick. I got it when I went to... Oh, my gosh, I got it and sell it some random place. I didn't even get it what it is. I think it's CoverGirl. Favorite lipstick ever. Um, I think I went a little heavy on the bottom because it's not as even with the top, but whatever. I can do a makeup tutorial on this later.
so to kind of finish off how the night went, I it went really well, as you could tell. So we went and we performed, and it was great, and I think that was actually the best that everyone's probably ever done. Um, and then, so we went and we sat down, so we were like facing um, Karen Underwood's band. She did amazing. She sang only one song that I didn't know, um, but I'd heard it before. Um, other than that, me and everyone were just partying, um, all the cloggers. Um, we're sitting next to each other, of course, because that's where all the, everything was sitting. Um, oh, my hand is hurting. Okay. And, um, so we're all sitting there and we were partying. We all, um, we all kind of decided to get into one row and sit together and sing together because we were all singing. Um, yeah. So then after that, we waited for like 20 minutes to get out and down because, of course, we were way up there. And as we're walking down... Me and my brother, Trevor, we go and we're walking, and all of a sudden, we see Store Edge. Store Edge. If you don't know who he is, he is a, another YouTuber who lives, I think, in Provo. Um, and he's known for, you know, doing tricks on the street and nice pranks and stuff. Um, and me and my brother flip out. We're, just, we're like, oh my gosh, it's Store Edge. Like, no way. And so I kind of just, like, look at my brother and I'm like, come on. It's like, we're going to walk up to this guy and we're going to talk to him. I was like, I'm not about ready to just walk past him. So I walk up and I'm like, Stuart, can I, can we get a picture with you? And he's like, yeah, 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 totally. I was like, yes. And so we walk up and, you know, yada, 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 and get a picture with him. And um, we're just talking with him and we're talking about how great the show was and how we were in it. And um, we're like, we love your videos and everything that um, you do. And he's like, well, do you want to see a magic trick? And we're like, heck yeah. And so he has my sister hold out um, her straw and just kind of hold it. He's like, I'm going to make this, um, make an electric force field and it's going to move. And he did it and we're all amazed. Um, it was way cool and we talked to him for a bit and then we ended up having to walk like a mile to our car. It was a long walk but it, it felt good because it was just breezy enough and it, it got really hot like it was supposed to. So we drove down to my grandma's house, dropped off my grandma and my uncle. Um, that was fun. Um, so yeah, and there was lots of fireworks. And Carrie Underwood was freaking amazing. And honestly, this has been an amazing experience. Um, and it still makes me a little sad that I had to have medical leave, so I couldn't dance, but I don't think I would have been able to dance. I got to meet so many people for the band part. Um, and... You know, I got to be with all of my um, friends on my dance team. And that was that was really fun because they've all been doing a whole bunch of dance stuff over the summer that I couldn't do. I still got to spend the time that I wanted with them. And yeah, and now I'm ex super exhausted and I have a new fun outfit. And I have makeup running down my face. But in the end, it was all worth it because we danced in front of over 40,000 people. Got to see Carrie Underwood for free. And I got to meet Stuart Edge. I have to say today was a pretty successful day. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. Um, if you'd like more, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, um, whatever you want. I want to know what your 4th of July was like. I want to know um, anything you thought of either the production, if you thought it was cool, if you have any questions. Comment below. I love to, I love to hear what you have to say. Um, also comment below our video ideas if you have any for me. I love you all. Bye.